Right, I'm going to attempt to describe how to genlock or synchronise two um, CZ, CCD cameras together. And um, the best thing I can do is show you first what I hope the outcome is to be, and then try and describe how it, what is going on. Um, at the moment, you can see this is the outcome, which is the monitor on the screen. And as you can see, you can see two versions of the hand, one from the right eye, and one from the left eye. So if I pan back a little bit, you can see the both images on the screen at the same time. Now here's my robot head, which is now looking a little bit worse for wear, as it's undergone several modifications. And I'm about to upgrade it with some high definition cameras, but for this demonstration I'll show you the original ones. Um, here we have the left eye, and if you look at the monitor, you can see the left eye image on the screen and there is the right eye okay so you can see both images on the screen there now if I go over to my oscilloscope I shall try and stretch across and you'll see the video on the screen now at the moment the top image and the bottom image are identical um, because I've effectively, now they're in sync, um, I've got a little relay and I've shorted the two video outputs together. So what you're seeing is the same um, video waveforms for the both the right eye and the left eye combined. Um, so what I'm going to do now is show you what happens when the cameras are out of sync and how the, the um, synchronisation takes place. So here we go. Right, this is my um, little prototype PCB and obviously I've made several modifications to my original uh, concepts because as usual I come up with the best possible, um, best possible solution and then have to modify it to get it to work properly. So um, this, there is the clock in, if I can see it, if you can just about see it, this wire here is the clock from the master. And this one here is the wire that goes to the slave um, side where the crystal is now missing. All right, And you can see a little green LED on there which indicates that it's on in phase and this relay is connecting the two outputs together here. Just about make it out in mess. Right, when I touch this wire I'm going to knock them out of sync. And you'll see on the display um, what's effectively very very tiny um, fine pulses and um, spikes effectively on the clock side of the slave camera so what it's doing is it's knocking the clock out very very uh, repeatedly until the two images are in phase so I'm just going to knock it out now and you'll see on this display all right so that is what we get there okay here we go, if you could just see it. See that line across there is where the fine spikes are knocking out the camera image. Now I'm going to switch to the oscilloscope. I'll just walk around, I'll just re-trigger this. And I'll walk around and you can see the two separate images on the oscilloscope. You see them slowly lining up? That's it, they're in phase. Okay. Right. And now we're back where we started with the two images in sync. It probably takes maybe up to 20 seconds. It depends how far out the uh how out, far out of phase the two images are as to how long it takes, but it could take quite a few seconds to um to align itself. But once it's done, because I'm using the same crystal rather than two separate cameras with their own crystals which will always be slightly out and you'll have to then re-sync every so often um, it's much better obviously to do it this way and have a common crystal and a common clock to both sides um, so I think that's pretty much a description for the minute I can't think of anything else uh, unless I come back to you so one final image of the uh, head there in sync